Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. Today, we are finally doing it. I'm gonna go and get started with making my own level. We started some of the Yamamura's dojo stuff and I was able to learn a little bit more uh, through that. But today, I've been thinking a lot about what kind of level I've been wanting to make and I think I've settled on one thing. I'm gonna give a warning, it's probably not gonna be a very good level. It'll be my first level in Mario Maker 2, but I wanna give it my best shot. Let's go ahead and get started with making our own level. So this is the course maker. In this course theme, you can change the height of the water or lava, give it a try. I'm not gonna be doing that. Um, actually, uh, new notifications refused. Well, what are these, what are these? I have no clue. Uh, oh, okay, so it looks like, oh, just different things like that, achievements and stuff. What about news? No notification for news. Um, so yeah, before I get started making anything, this is why I want to talk about my goals for this level. I thought about all the different themes and all the different concepts and my favorite theme or game style is Super Mario World. So we are gonna make a Super Mario World themed level and when it comes to area, I wanted to make a cave. So that's what I'm gonna be getting started with and when it comes to developing it, I wanted to focus on one concept because I want this level to sort of build upon itself. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make the one concept a Koopa and the shell and things you can do with that enemy and call it the Koopa Cave. I don't know if that's the most original idea or not. I haven't seen any levels like that, so that's what I wanted to do a little bit is just like a Koopa focused cave in Mario World. And hopefully by the end of it, it'll have enough flow so that it actually feels like a level you might find in Super Mario World. But uh, what I need to do now is go. not that. That was literally the opposite. Um, I don't know how, like if I reach over here, it, like it doesn't let me get it. I need to actually learn how to control. Oh wait. No, wrong thing. Oh, here we go. Uh, well, I just, I guess I can't press those things. So what I wanna do is, huh. How do I, I'm still figuring out, okay, here we go, reset rocket, reset the entire thing. There we go, we got a basic level now. And instead of all of this, I need to go up here to the game style, of course, Mario World. But of course, as you can see, you can make Mario Bros, Mario 3, Mario World, and New Super Mario Bros U, and Super Mario 3D World. We'll do all of them eventually, I'm sure. But the cave is, well, this is underground right here. It'd be cool if I could start, and I don't know if this is, this is like where I'm gonna do a lot of experimenting. This might actually take multiple episodes for me to create everything. Um, but I would like to do is start it in grass and then go into a cave and be in the cave. And I think that's something you can do. Um, no auto scroll, but it looks like there's like tons of cool stuff we can do. Um, clear condition, no clear condition, I don't think. I don't know, we'll have to think about it. Uh, Mario's Trail. Oh, I guess that's for if we like lose or something. There's also co-op making. There's lots of options up there. Also sound effects. Uh, I'll leave those for some other time. <laughs> um, just like lots of options. I'm just trying to get a good lay of the land for right now. So one thing I wanna do uh, is go back to, yeah, the finger cursor. And I can just, I can pull this up. I can pull this down as you can see. And when it comes to ground tiles, I, I already have them selected and it all just sort of connects like this. So what I would like to do really quick is switch to this. And I'm sure I'm making things in a silly way. Huh. Hmm, so that seems to change the pipe speed. Well, what did that, what, what is that down there? Oh, is this area two? Is this where the pipe will lead? Uh, choose an orientation for the sub area. Oh, see, this is where it's a little odd. Um, the sub area is where I would wanna make the cave. But I don't know how big the sub area can be. Changing the orientation will later leave all course elements from the sub area. Uh, horizontal for sure. Um, and I just wanted to mess with this idea first. So make this underground. So if I were to now Go back to area one. Is that still, aha. Here we go. Uh, hold on, <laughs> that's not what I want. Uh, Luigi, could you get up there? Thank you. Here we go. So obviously now if I go down this pipe, ow, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> that didn't work. I might need to figure that out a little bit. Oh, there we go, that's cool. Okay, so it goes down into the sub area. Uh, looks like it. Place a warp pipe to link the main and sub areas. So I'll do that for now. Uh, not exactly where I wanted it. I think that would be cool is having it up in the air so that you know players can't go back because there would be no point too. So something like that would be good. And 
yeah, now we just gotta work on other elements like the ground and stuff. And this is where it's just gonna be me sort of experimenting. This might be more of like, yeah, that's sort of the thing. <laughs> this might be like an experimental episode where I really just get some core ideas and I figure out how to actually control everything. And then in an upcoming episode, maybe I'll go ahead and form it into its own level, you know? Something like that might be good. So I'm trying to just do what the player can see for right now. But I love Super Mario World so much. And that's why I want to, you know, make a level based off of it. Uh, let's undo that one. I want to move this like up here. Just so that there's no way they can get back up. Because I don't want, you know, that kind of thing happening. Okay, well they're not going to be up here. So I don't really need any kind of fancy thing. Well, okay, get that there. But yeah, let's first, I feel like I do need to sit down and like experiment with a Koopa, right? So like Koopas are over this way. We got this kind of Koopa, but then we also have different kind of Koopas. As you can see, we have the red Koopa. We have a big Koopa. What other things can we do with a Koopa? We can make them flying and we can make them parachuting. So those are the different things we can do with a Koopa Troopa just right here. Um, and that's what I want to sort of focus on, at least for the moment, is everything I can do with a Koopa. Obviously like some things, like you cannot pick up a big Koopa shell. If I can know and understand everything that's possible with a Koopa, I can make a really solid level around him. And that's gonna be the whole concept. So like today might be like level groundwork kind of stuff before we get too far into anything else. So there was a Koopa sort of ideas with that. Something I would like to do is like, you know, also get an idea, how high can we throw a Koopa shell? So let's get this out. And also can I, how do I delete? Uh Oh, here we go, gotcha. And I also have to figure out how everything works, you know, just like the, you know, the room for everything. I don't know if there's a way just to set up a Koopa shell. I don't think so. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna just put up some different levels of things just to see how far we can throw a Koopa shell. Uh, and then let me get up this way. And cause I need to extend the floor a little bit. What will this do? Uh, no, I don't wanna do that. Okay, <laughs> just trying to figure out all the buttons. Uh, can I go back? So I can make this much longer. Um, and it looks like I can make the sub area the entire level, basically. So that's good to know. But for right now, we're still in the base experimentation page, stage. Cause you know, this is where we're brainstorming. We're messing with all the different mechanics in the game and just trying to, you know, as we mess with them, we'll figure out ideas. You know, like I'm not the, you know, most talented artist in the world, but I do a lot of different like, I guess artsy things, you know, especially, you know, for these videos, I usually, you know, make the picture for the video, the thumbnail, um, and for that kind of stuff, you know, I've been doing that for years. It takes a lot of experimentation, and that's usually how I learn different programs, whether it be a video editing uh, thing, or if it's a uh, photo editing tool, or any kind of creative program. The first thing I do when I'm trying to learn something is I go in there and I make a project. And I might not know the first thing to do, but what I'm gonna do is go, okay, I want a Koopa. Well, then how do I do that? And once that question is proposed, I can go and find the answer. You can't answer how do you use something if you don't have deeper questions. So it looks like yeah, that's the highest I can throw one just with a normal jump. As far as I can tell, oh wait, Looks like I was able to get one more. Now, if I were to get like a run and jump, that might change things up a little bit. Yep, looks like it. So let's pause again. Let's get a good idea of how high, oh wait, it undoes it all. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna get? Can I get a vine? Let's see, we got ground, block, coin, enemies. Okay, yeah, I see that up there. Uh, terrain, items, enemies, and what is this list? Gizmos, vines right here. I just need to be able to see uh, how high I'm actually hitting. So that's something I just need to experiment with right now. So go back to this Koopa, and just as I'm standing normally, how high can I possibly, yeah. Just trying to find out how high can I possibly hit something with the Koopa shell, and it looks like up there. So I'm gonna do this, just like stand on this one. That way I sort of know. Um, so I can erase this and that. Can I erase Luigi? <laughs> oh no, poor Luigi. Um, so let's take a look at this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I might wanna count that over again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So when Mario, Luigi, whatever character you're playing, when they jump and throw a Koopa shell up, they can hit a block 13 spaces high. So like things like that, I might wanna write down and just sort of know, that way you know, I know the limits of the player and I can work with that. So this is a bit rudimentary, a little bit boring, I am sorry, but you know, this is just, you know, what you gotta do to make a level, to make a level that, you know, you wanna really be proud of, you gotta take that extra time. And I did wanna also take a look at everything else in this spin wheel. So we know all of our other options. So like, here's the terrain. So we have different types of ground, either it be ground, bridge, mushroom platform, pipes even. And then we have like cloud blocks, donut blocks, hidden blocks, that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have items. So things like coins, power-ups, and then we have enemies, all sorts of different enemies. Uh, that do all sorts of different things. Uh, seeing how we're mostly just focused on Koopas, I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about this. Like maybe I can make like Boom Boom the final boss or something. That would be fun. Um, he's like the king of the Koopas or something. I know that's Bowser. Maybe he's the king of Koopa Cave. I don't know, we like different ideas like that, but I wouldn't have even gotten that idea unless I looked through each thing and just sort of thought about it a little bit. How could I incorporate it to this level, to this idea? And that's what I wanna sort of think about now. Because if we go through different things, like say the gizmos is a really great place to figure out specific type of levels. Um, like if I choose the icicle here, this is something I'm a little bit curious about. If I set up a couple of icicles here, and then maybe have a couple like this as well. Um, here we go. What's tough about these guys is if we just walk like that, we get hit, right? That's not good. Um, but if we get a Koopa shell, no, that's not what I want to, hold on. <laughs> Let's restart that. Here we go. Whoopsies. Uh, and then I go like this, it goes right through. So we could maybe have a section where there is a bunch of icicles here. It'd be very difficult to get through, but if we had a Koopa shell, we could throw it right under and hit a switch that maybe makes something up this way or something. So there's something with the icicles to keep in mind. Um, I don't know if I'd use icicles. I don't know if they're like environmentally thematic. I don't know what I did there. Uh, oh, I can double tap Luigi to, oh, that's so cool. I can double tap the Y button. Good to know. Um, other moves, like we have the Twister. And this is one I wanna experiment with as well. Seeing how I haven't used any of these in builder mode, it's really important right now to just experiment. So, yeah. So as, as you can see, it will actually levitate a Koopa block. A Koopa, not a Koopa block, you know what I mean. I am a Koopa shell. Can I get that back? <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, now we know. I might go ahead and start erasing some guys here because it's getting a little crowded. But I just need this sort of zone to try things, you know? Uh, let's get back to the ground. I wanna really extend things over this way. Uh, hold on, select this, go back over here, and just keep going for a while. Can I erase little details? I guess I can't. It's just sort of, you get what you get. Here we go. So. Let's take an extra look at everything. Uh, we have things like the burner. Now, I think it's gonna be the same situation where the Koopa shell can go through a burner, but we wanna make sure that that's actually the case. Can we make these longer? We can make it, what is that? What is that? I don't know what that means. Oh. That's, that has the dotted outline, like the, you know, whenever there's like a significant thing you can do, like, you know, collect a certain amount of coins, you can go through the the, the final area, the final, um, you know, the warp, the, the flag, what am I talking about, the flag, you, it has that dotted outline. Maybe there's like a condition you can reach, turn off fire. Don't know if that'd be helpful in this level, but good to know about it. So let's, let's mess with this a little bit. I'm not quite done with it. Um. Yeah, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. Let's just keep placing more of them. And then back to putting out another Koopa. And I think I'm just gonna be messing around for the next like half an hour or so, or at least in total, like a half an hour. I mistimed it a little bit, but it did seem like, indeed. Uh, uh, let's try it again though, that this can go through. I mean, obviously this would be a tough one to really do because the player could just wait and run through it. But just other things, what can the Koopa shell do? Right now it seems pretty invincible. It can go through icicles, it can go through the flames of fire, and it can be thrown up really high. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, or the icicle. Now I don't know if there's too much we need to do with the Bill Blaster. Of course it'll be able to take out a Bullet Bill. Bonsai Bills, I don't see what we could really do too much with that. And cannons, that kind of stuff that I'm not really too worried about. 
But what I would like to try, in round two, we got the checkpoint flag, a key, a warp door, I don't really need too much, a P-switch, also things I'm not really too worried about. We could eventually make it so like a P-switch is on top of one of these blocks right here, the block block, and that way it falls sort of through it, and then we can like we can throw a Koopa shell up there to hit it, and maybe that will unlock some kind of secret. And that'd be fun. Um, there's also pal blocks, and pal blocks I know, but let's just double check to confirm. Uh, should go. be able to, oh, it wasn't stuck up there. Is there a way to make it stuck up there? You, like stick it in place? No, but I can, at the least, do that. Make it fly around a little bit. Um, and there you go, you can just hit it just like that. Very cool, so good to keep that kind of stuff in mind. Of course, that would be a good move to use in certain situations. So what I need to see now, um, a couple of different things. Trampoline, I wanted to try. I'm actually gonna try like the trampoline down here, and then I'm gonna, I wanna see if a Koopa shell will jump or bounce off of a trampoline. So this is a good way to experiment with it, I think. Here we go. And then just plop it down there, and look at that, it'll bounce, so good to know. And then if I bounce into it though, it will fly off. So that's something we'll have to keep in mind. Okay. So next thing, what is the next thing I have over this way? We have ourselves a vine. And you might not think there's might not too much you can do with a vine and a Koopa shell, but I beg to differ because if you wanted to make like a super cool, hard to activate secret or something like that, you know, you can make it so you can't climb a vine while you're holding a Koopa shell, but you can. And it's really tough to do. Let me make this vine go up higher actually. And I remember that, you know, this is something you can do even in the original uh, Mario World, is you could throw it up and then, oh, it's really tough to do. You'd have to be really good to do it, but throw it up and then like catch it and then throw it back up over and over again. And maybe only a secret for the best Mario players ever. I don't know, uh, but it's an option. And that's what it's important right now is to look at every single option we have and formulate ideas around it. One thing I did want to experiment with the P-Switch. Let's go over this way. So I really don't think we're gonna get to the whole idea of actually, oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Um, actually making a level today, I'm gonna put out the groundwork and just sort of figure out what we have to do and work from there. So that does not work. Got you, so there's no way to hit a P-switch in that way. You have to hit it yourself as the player. I mean, I know that like a Thwomp block can hit it. So that's something to keep in mind, I think. Um, moving over this way, we have things that are new. We have the Swinging Claw. Yeah, one of those, one one of those right there. Uh, wrong button, I wasn't quite done. I was gonna pull out some more gizmos. Uh, we have a lift. Um, I don't think the lifts are gonna be too major, but I know that if we hold these, we can turn it into a blue lift, which actually will fall once you stand on it. I don't know if a Koopa shell will activate that falling motion, so that's something we should check out. No, wait, that's not what I wanna do. Uh, okay, so holding minus will make it play from start. I didn't know if that was like deleting the level for a moment. I don't know, I just had this weird feeling. Uh, and what about stuff like the lava lift? I think it's gonna be the same as the flimsy lift. We have a seesaw, which I think I already know will, you know, make a Koopa shell sway. But these are just kind of things we need to ask and then answer uh, before we make a level. Because if not, we're gonna run into problems that we'll have to go back and fix. And same thing with the bumper. And then also that saw I wanna try. I wanna go this way. And also, uh, wrong button, all of the wrong buttons. Hold on, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still really figuring this out. So that's what matters, is just one piece at a time. I also wanna try throwing it over the skewer. Uh, that is the wrong direction. I mean, I guess, can they not skewer upwards? I actually don't know. Oh, here we go. So I might do this and then put some ground over somewhere because I'm gonna need the extra space. Just something like this, should be fine. And then go back in there. That's about everything on this panel. And then we have stuff like the track. And this can like make things, anything go around there, I think. We could make a Koopa on there, but I don't think we can put a Koopa shell on there. I don't see the option for that anywhere. And then we have some important things here. We have the on and off switch, and I have a lot of experimenting to do with this. So I think that's gonna, we're gonna leave that kind of stuff for now. Um, I think we're just gonna move all the way back over and start piecing some things together with this. So about here, here we, go. we already know about the 
So that does not activate this blue platform. But, it will also, oh, it will weigh out. For a moment, I thought it wasn't going to, but oh, that could be an interesting thing. There's a seesaw overhead. What are you going to do? You have to throw a Koopa shell up there, grab it, bring it with you. Now, I don't think you, that we can put Koopa shells on tracks. Can't do that. But that'll actually, whoa, good to know. Uh, it looks like Koopa shells go right through a, um, a bumper. That's what it's called. So good to keep in mind. I'm gonna grab another Koopa. Koopa Troopa. There we go. And from over this way, I'm gonna try, same deal, same deal. So back over here. Here we go. Gonna grab that, run over this way. And it goes right through. I mean, I was a little off, so I should definitely reconfirm. Here we go. But it looks like it goes right through all three of these objects. Yep, so these three really won't do much. Uh, whoa, does that not work? I swear that worked in the original, huh? That also doesn't work. I swear that worked in the original. Weird. Um, good to keep in mind. <laughs> uh, but I need to pull this back up because there's still a couple more things we want to experiment with now. I want to experiment with the on and off switch and this is where things will get a little crazy. Um, what's weird is, yeah, okay, we got the dotted line block. I kept on thinking, well, where's the other color? We'll probably just have to select it. Um, fire bar, I don't see too many interactions with that. The one-way wall, I already know how this works. The one-way wall works the same with everything. We could make that into some interesting puzzles. And same thing with like the conveyor belt. Interesting things for sure. For right now though, I think the most important thing is the on and off switch. I'm gonna get this over this way. And we're gonna get some ground over here as well and I can erase that one. Um, so I have a couple of different ideas here. First off, I just wanna confirm that, of course, a Koopa shell can hit the on and off switch. I'm pretty sure it can, but it's good to just make extra sure that I can, there we go, hit it just like that. One thing we could do with that then, if I wanted to, is I could move that over, say, here, and then do that. And then it's pretty clear with this Koopa bouncing around what we're supposed to do. I can pick this up and throw it like that. And say, if we wanted to work on that idea, make a bit of a timed Koopa puzzle, we could get these dotted lines and I could do this. Actually, I'm gonna need some more ground pieces here. Hold on. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go, that was fine. And then make it so that We'll just sort of have to time it in a way, if that makes sense. So once again, you know, say that there's a little bit more detail here, I need to get through this, but now it's like I need to time it. Of course, we would wanna make it a little bit more difficult, maybe a little bit more intricate, but the idea is there. So different things like that, and that's about all the different experimentation I feel like I can do with the Koopa shell right now. I mean, there might be more. To be honest with you, there might be so much more. So much more. And that's what's really cool about something, uh, you know, very simple like the Koopa shell. It has all of these different options for us. And that's something actually I didn't mess with is this. So once again, you can do that and the Koopa shell just goes right in. The only problem is that, I don't know if you can or not. Like I'm pretty sure you can't. Just get a Koopa Troopa shell. It doesn't look like it, which is very weird to me because I'm pretty sure I've seen Mario Maker levels where you can. So you guys should let me know. Have you been able to make it so you just have the Koopa shell in editor? I'm not really sure. So yeah, let's let's go back to the beginning now. Play from the start, and you'll see that we really only got one thing so far. A pipe to here, which is something I want to keep with for sure. Very cool. Uh, but I want to do more than just that as well. Of course, we want a full level. So a lot of this I'm gonna have to go and do over, but now we sort of have a clear idea of what we can do, we just gotta figure out what we wanna do. And that's where things get really tough with the level, pacing, spacing, and difficulty are things that are really difficult to balance, but not impossible. So I did wanna see some other stuff like this auto scroll here, we don't have rising lava for this level theme. Uh, there's a timer so we can change the length of the level time. We can make it really quick. 
can make it really long. I then want to keep it at like 400. I think that'll be fine for now. We might want to adjust that later on. There's also the clear condition if we were looking for something like that. Um, I think for the most part, we'll be fine with keeping with this. Uh, everything that we already have set up. And there's also save and load. I do not need to save quite yet. And that's just the menu. Okay, so I think at this point, at the least, I've gotten a good idea of how everything works. I think that this area definitely needs to be reset. Will that do this, or will this reset everything from the beginning? Um, I think it'll just reset this area. Oh no, it'll also reset this. Good to know. Um, it's fine that I did that though. Can you undo a major reset? You can. All right, I'm gonna go and redo that major reset because I do want to start things off in the beginning again. Um, but good to know all these different options and ways to do things in the Mario Maker tool set because there's a lot to do here. <laughs> a whole lot to do. So I'm gonna keep with this. Uh, that's the goal right there. Um, I don't have to worry about this too much. I can actually make this really short. Well, not this short. <laughs> That'd be a little weird. Um, so yeah, we could do something like this and then I'll probably, I wanna make the beginning and the ending area now. Um, so don't need that. What I do need is just to place down some ground over this way. And just like before, and I mean, that's sort of something you'd see in Mario World. For the cave levels, you would usually see just like a little pipe you can get up to. How do I make slopes, by the way? Uh, I actually don't know. Hmm, that's something I wanna experiment with at some point too, slopes. How do you make slopes? That's one thing I haven't figured out. Ah, here, okay, so we have a steep slope or a gentle slope. So I could do that here. That's actually pretty fun. Just doing something like this and we have a pipe up this way. I think that's something that we also have to mess with then is Koopa shells and slopes. Uh, we'll do that at some point. For right now, I'm gonna put a pipe up here. We already know what it's gonna lead to. Um, and like when it comes to fine tuning, maybe putting like an extra secret every once in a while. Um, like I would love to put a secret out this way. You know, just like a little something something so that people looking around, they can find it. Um, I do wanna move this guy um, if I can. Not like that, that was a little bit of a mistake. And I definitely, oh, need to be get, getting a little bit better with moving around. Okay, so yeah, it would be fun to, and I want to just, you know, I guess we could do that now, just because I wanna experiment with different things and sort of chip away at it. So I wanna put a hidden block right down here so that, you know, small Luigi can go and get this. I mean, maybe I could put it right here. Actually, that, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, and then we can also try, you know, setting up a power up there then. Uh, Cause right now there's nothing inside, which means it just gives us a coin. Not exactly what we want. Not as satisfying as a mushroom power up. Or maybe we can make it, even better than that? Like maybe we could make it like a fire flower. Actually, ooh, I don't think I wanna do a fire flower for this level because fire flowers will immediately take out Koopas. Uh, they won't even drop their shell. So I don't wanna reward the player in that way just because that might be a bit risky. Um, but what I could do is I could do maybe a cave flower. Maybe I should just keep with the mushroom for now. Just to be sure. Um, wait, what's going on? Uh, there we go. So as you can see, now if I hit it, we get a mushroom. How cool is that? Then we're ready to go down the pipe and take on the cave. Before I do any of that, I think it'll be good to go over here and start figuring this out a little bit. So just something pretty simple. Yep, just like that. Um, I'll go over to the pipe and put that right there. It's sort of weirdly covering up the flower, but don't have to worry about it. That's gonna be the exit pipe to tell you, yay, you've won. Uh, and maybe we could even, if we just want a nice little touch. Uh, I know that there is the arrow, and I don't know if I'll keep this because it might look a little tacky, but we got the arrow sign. I could put it this way. Just that way. <laughs> I don't know, I don't like that too much. So right now that's gonna be the idea is, is you know, once you're done with the Koopa Cave, you leave and you finish the level. Of course, not too much of a level just yet. We're gonna have to alter a lot of things before we get there. Uh, but now we got the bases done for the ground, so I don't have to worry about anything else. I can just lead this to the second area. And it's gonna be a horizontal area, not vertical. Going all the way over this way, we need to, yeah, bring this all the way up again, just like before. Change it to cave. And there we go. 
Okay, so we got a lot of good experimenting done in today's episode, but I think that there's still a lot more we have to do to learn how to make a level good and proper. So every couple episodes, I'm gonna try to come back to this until the Koopa Cave is completed. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. For right now, this is all we have. Next episode, this episode was making a level experimentation. Next episode is gonna be making a level groundwork. Uh, definitely just trying to lay out the level, find out what each section is, what the player is going to be doing in that section, and what they need to do to move forward. And then we'll have a, hopefully a third episode where we tune it up, make it perfect. Maybe it'll only take two episodes. We'll have to see how much progress it takes. Of course, the creative process does not have a time limit. <laughs> so yeah, that's very fun. I really enjoyed myself. Hopefully you guys did too. Let me know your thoughts on a, you know an episode like this. I hope you weren't bored. I really hope you weren't um, because <laughs> this is gonna be the best way to do it. A lot of people were asking me to make a level. So step one, I didn't wanna cram it all into one video and feel rushed and make a half-baked level. That didn't sound like fun. So I hope you guys like this idea. Always hearing your feedback, so you guys can always let me know. So there we have it. There was you know the first episode of this. We're gonna go ahead and save and load since that's the only thing we really haven't shown so far how to save a level. So we're just gonna move over this way and we just can name it. So we're just gonna call it Koopa Cave for right now. I don't think this posts it publicly. I sure hope not because it is now we're near ready. But uh, there we go. Accept. Okay. And as you can see, my courses. But is it available to the public? I don't think so. Save, upload, got you. Okay, so very, very cool. Do I, no wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, well I didn't, I didn't save it, so I'm just gonna leave uh, back to the main menu. There we go. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, like I said like 70 times, but that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Maker so now you've watched at the end if you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.